I'm we'll nervous about going. this story. You are nervous about this story. Am I going to get arrested? Well, I hope not. I don't think you'll get arrested. Aaron had never had a happy ending, and we were on the hunt. For one? Really? He yeah. wanted one? No, I wanted him to have one. You wanted to let him Hold get on. a massage with a happy ending? Yeah. What? <laughs> you want him to have a happy ending? A happy ending, just to confirm, is a hand Some job. Guys, yeah, like at the end of the massage. When I said that about the happy ending, I heard, I heard crickets. And I was like, holy f I, I don't know these women that well. And I feel that I'm, they're probably judging me right oh, it's now. Oh, great. I was like, okay, how do I talk about this? Because I also didn't want to offend anyone. And also I'm getting to know them. And I thought they might not know how to take what I'm saying. Right. heard so much from me. Great. But yeah, <laughs> this, she was surprised. I was, wasn't I? <laughs> yes. My mouth dropped open. It was funny. So true. But I didn't think it was going to turn into such a conversation. I just, you know, mention it like I whatever. I gotta say, it's and probably then... some of the greatest stuff that's ever happened on the show. I don't know. Show. People are going to think I'm nuts. You know, Aaron and I have a very uh, comfortable relationship. We love to have grown up time. I um, think that's great. There's times we'll go to a strip bar together, and I love it. We like to have fun. How it started was a friend of his was in town got a massage and that happened. And so that's also how we got on the subject of it. But then I was surprised he had never had one, um, which might say what kind of uh, men I've dated and, you know. Married. Married um, and lost, you know, whatever. <laughs> it took a few places and so then we we're like, well, is there a code or do you have to say something? Yeah. We weren't really sure, but it does happen. Did you crack the code? I guess he did. So it's a woman, right? Yeah. That does the happy mm -hmm. endings. Yeah. No men do it. I'm sure there's some men. I'm sure men, there's some men that but do the it. Ones that, that yeah. was a question that yeah. I wanted to no, know. No, there, there's for sure. Yeah, I'm mm -hmm. sure. Yeah. It's just anyway, fascinating, isn't it? There's a lot of fascinating. Do you guys all want to know where to go? Is that why? Like, ah! <laughs> works both ways. That's why the ladies were finally asking me, like, how could they get one? Who? Um, <laughs> and I don't know if they air that part, though. That was on camera. <laughs> Denise, we're wanting to know if we want to go to the happy ending place. If, oh, if, wait, <laughs> wait, Denise, this is not about you. We're doing it's research for our own. Do you women want happy me to do some research for you? <gasps> yes. Because really? Dorit was up all night and couldn't find one close to her house. <laughs> There's that. The How do you let them know? <laughs> that, that might do it. Kyle and Dorit were half joking about it, but obviously there was a little truth in it because they were probably intrigued and curious about it, you know. And then Teddy thought I was trying to do that for Aaron so that he wouldn't do something. I was afraid he was doing something or might do something. And I'm like, I can't even, like, my mind's not going that far. I'm just like, do you want one or not? I wasn't thinking, huh, I'm going to plan this so he doesn't have to do it or do it. Like, I'm not as logical as her. Sometimes I wish I was, though. When Denise shared with us the happy ending story, I think she thought that we were the biggest prude she's ever met in her life. I'm definitely not. You can ask my husband. Oh my! <laughs> but I did not know that you could just go into some place and be like, I didn't like, know you could oh, go hi. to the corner place and like, Manny audition Petty and people a, for it. Like, oh, I gotta run over to the market and then I'm gonna go get a happy ending <laughs> and Manny Petty and I'll be back at six. So, what if your husbands did that? <laughs> I mean, they would not want to lose their appendage. The, the new happy ending would not be so happy. Yeah. Mm hmm. I don't see me taking PK for a happy ending in the near future. I'm being honest. That, it would be more difficult for me to do. I don't think it's happening for Mr. Girardi like that. You know, you can get in trouble with the bar. <laughs> you know, I just don't think it's happening. I, I feel very, you know, comfortable and confident in my relationship with him. And I just thought it would be fun for him. I think that's what I was the most surprised it. at. Like, the thought that you would go, what do you I'm mean like, you've never, never had, had one. I'm like, you gotta have one. Oh. Life is short, Life is so, so short. whatever. So I agree, but I do think you should watch porn. <laughs>this is a taboo subject on the show. We don't talk about it. They sex don't talk about it. Yeah, we don't. I guess in a television environment that's on TV, some people might be concerned. I've had so much shit out there about me that 
I myself, and that was a big lesson when I went through the press and I was drugged through it, it was a blessing for me because I used to be very cautious. And when you've been taken down to your lowest point of people having a very negative perception about you, even if, it, and especially when it's not true and you're being misunderstood, mm. that's really hard. Now, after that, I was always like, I'm gonna be my authentic self. If people don't like me, that. So that's why I talk about sex with my girlfriends. I think it's healthy, and I think a lot of people are intrigued by it. And I mean, I wrote a book about it. Ex right. I talk about giving blowjobs blow and hand jobs. It's important because we What's all are sexual deal? creatures. That's you know. why porn's great. It, well, I agree with you. <laughs> it helps. So yeah. good. Anyway. I like strip bars, too. You know, I think it's whatever works for you. And everyone in this country is so hung up on sex and whatever it, it just it's sex it's what keeps your relationship yeah, it's not a bad thing to talk bonded. about i like porn too do you guys watch porn have i ever watched porn no with him no you should no i <laughs> <laughs> you should oh please why should she because it's great oh my god oh you should do you and harry watch porn together a lot yeah what kind of porn do you watch like i like nice porn i don't like like Dirty right. porn. Like, I, it has to be pretty. No, you know Which, what I mean? Like, what pretty. nice porn do you like? Like, Which, Vivid has some nice porn. Vivid? Vivid. I've never heard of Vivid. Anyway, I'll talk to you. But you gotta have the old stuff. The new stuff is like, I don't know, it's like tattoos and I don't know. I like the pretty porn. Okay. You'd like the pretty porn. It's hot. Vintage Vivid is good <laughs> porn. No, really. I'm gonna get a deal out of this somehow. <laughs> I'm gonna start working for Vivid. I don't know. And I'm gonna open gonna up a massage money off parlor. Of this, honey, and you'll open up a massage parlor for that happy will be endings. investigated the first no. day we open. <laughs>has a habit of being a people pleaser, which, you know, I understand, you know, and she, I'll, I've said that to her and she agrees, you know, so she may say, Teddy, you get in people's business or whatever it is, and then she'll be like, you're so great, we're getting along so well, everything's amazing. So she can go yeah, back like and forth and flip flop. Trip. She's apparently mad at me. Ow. I know, but you this will get raw. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, bye. It's all my fault, of course. Teddy seems to have an answer for everything. Gotta love her. I'm like, I don't get it. You either <laughs> like me or you don't. It doesn't make any sense. I get the wishy-washy because it's a lack of confidence in me learning to voice my opinion in the moment. And I am a bit dyslexic, so I'm not good at using my words at times. So it's getting over the, the lack of confidence because of the dyslexia and how to use my voice and speak. And like I was always so guarded with speaking up. And my ex-husband used to make fun of me, too. I mean, he always made fun of me. Oh, no, it's this. He always corrected my speech patterns, my, my grammar. It was so annoying living, living with somebody that was constantly correcting the, your speech. It was like, OK, you know, you're making me feel even smaller. So I have had to work hard at it. In, in high school, I had to go out to, we called it like the tart cart, and that's such a horrible thing to say, but that's where the kids back then used to make fun of us. Me and a group of my friends, we have to go outside of the high school building. They had like a, a trailer that, to help us with our grammar and work with our speech. And I did that. If you had to read out loud, I was the kid sitting going, oh no, not me. Like, I'm gonna hide behind here. Oops, 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 oops. I'm gonna, oh my God, no, don't ask me to read. No, oh, please don't. Like hiding behind my desk. Because I really didn't want to read in, in front of the class. So I'd be like, <laughs> don't ask me to read it. Because she's always flip-flopping, I just called her Two Face, but she actually said what she thought, which is that I'm a know-it-all. And you sat down with Lisa Brennan and you said, I know, because I know everything. Did you say you're a know-it-all? No, I, I said think she's a know-it-all. I said that. I would rather be a know-it-all than two-faced. I know that.
<laughs> of course you do. <laughs> you know, there's just so much you can hear somebody talk about how smart they are. I mean, you know, you know, we all think we're so bright at a certain age, and then as we get older, we realize how we're not. <laughs> I'm not that arrogant to sit there and say, I'm just so smart, I just know, I know a lot. I think Camille called her a know-it-all. Camille said she was very smart for her age. Oh, that was but it. But then Teddy's husband said that Camille looked good for her age. <laughs> so it was really? like, yeah, you didn't know that? Oh, yeah. <laughs> It's all so. Oh my god. It's all I so. Love what is the word I'm Erica. For? Yeah, man. Hey. It's all so. All Comical? So, yeah, it's all so lame. Mm. But anyway, yeah, Teddy did not like that. No. She felt like it was demeaning. She was, yeah, she was talking down to her. Yeah. I don't think that was dismissive at all. I would say that to my daughter. The only slight part of it wasn't that part of it, it was the second half of it. I didn't say, I didn't talk down to you. I just said that sometimes you insert yourself into a conversation. That's the negative part of it, but it wasn't your bright for your own age. I would have just said, go, oh, thank you. You took charge of the grill. How did that go? I tried to take charge of the grill, but it didn't go too well. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, oh boy. Oh, my God. Are you kidding me? I grill a lot at home. I do. I mean, I've been grilling for years, <laughs> so I know how to use a grill. This one, we couldn't get started. So my grilling didn't work so well this time around. It was kind of an, a fail, but it was frustrating because Teddy kept trying to give in and take over. What is going on? Uh, uh, yeah, there's a, it does there's not just, look good. No, that, you guys, that, that, no, <laughs> no. Camille's fired Camille! from this job, yeah. and that thing's burning up. You can't use the I rubber. Can't. This is fine, we got it. She was cooking with like a plastic spatula, so it was the plastic was burning onto the grill. Is that plastic? Uh, the plastic on the stove. No, 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 not a good idea. Okay, these are and not chefs, let's just be clear. So I, I mean... think I just was like, move it or lose it. Like, we're not gonna eat plastic tonight. I didn't know that she was mad, but apparently I learned in my interview she was very upset by that. Ow. I know, but you this too? will get raw. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, bye. Not cool. I know how to grill meat. It's all my fault, of course. These are the things we find out along like, the way. What? It was annoying that she kept kind of like pushing me aside. It was a little controlling for me. If I see something going wrong, I can't just let it happen. It drives me crazy that I'm like this, but I'm that person that I like to plan every detail of like a trip. Like even as a little kid, I would go to horse shows, not even have like an adult watching me, and I would lay my clothes out the night before. I'd set the alarm. I'd call down to the front office and make sure they would call. And like I was crazed. Like I was so worried about being <laughs> late, about something being wrong. It's that, not like, easy being Teddy. And I don't know if that's a disorder. <laughs> but like we'll go, we go hiking, <laughs> and then we get to this gate, and I have to touch the gate three times. And she's like, "What are you doing?" I'm like, "Just can you touch it three it's times?" It's cool. I have that. I've actually been diagnosed with that, so I can diagnose you too. Now we're having a therapy session. Yeah, no, that's just who I am. I don't know why I'm like that, but I, I can't, I, I'm pretty sure I can't do anything right in the eyes of Camille, so I'm just gonna have to live with that. So the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills go camping. What could possibly go wrong there? Yeah. When we went grocery shopping and everyone acted like they've never been in a grocery store before. It was hilarious. We could get donuts. Oh, I'm sure you're gonna eat a bunch of donuts, Rena. Oh, just for the <laughs> heck of it. <laughs> Isn't that cute? Guys, we might have to focus. have a nibble. Cheese balls, do you remember these? No, Rena. Oh my gosh, we have a lot of stuff. Do you think we're good for one night? <laughs> No. This like inner kid came out yes. like we're having our slumber party and, and our parents aren't going to be home and we get to buy whatever sh we want. There you go. And we're like grown women in our mm -hmm. 40s and 50s. Dorit's like buying presents for her kids. Remember? She, yes. Dorit thought we were at Harrods and she's like, I need to bring him some you know, gifts to bring home to my kids. <laughs> but, I mean, the amount of things. We were like crazed lunatics going through that grocery Teddy's store. Teddy's cheap. Teddy admits she's cheap. And, and <laughs> she's but very, I mean, between like, how the, much food do we need to buy? I'm like, I already, like, in my head thought about how much food. We had, like, 65 carts. Everybody's, like, grabbing stuff. The can of the uh, cheese. Whiz? Yes. Cheese, I didn't even know whiz. they made that shit anymore. Yeah, I didn't either. Cheese in a can. It was almost like an experiment. 
put a bunch of Beverly Hills Housewives in a market and just let them go, wasn't it? Everybody was like, all of a sudden, you know, 12 all the years drama old. was. We forgot about all the drama. Yeah, Denise brought fake cockroaches and put them in our bed. We were laughing so hard, we were crying. We we're like hunched over, hiding. Of course, they could hear us and see us. <laughs> they were being so sneaky. Well, Rita got mad. No, no, no. What she about when we heard Rita and them on the phone, and then we got scared they were talking about us, so we ran away? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we're like, they're talking about us. Oh, oh God. God. We're here. But the best part of that night. Was, was Erica, Erica with the shower cap? I know Erica with the shower cap, like teeter tottering. She's like, her. "What? What's wrong? I'm going to wash and my face." And she was in the shower. zip up onesie. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Thanks for watching. Click right here to subscribe to the Bravo channel, and click here to watch more videos from the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills.